And now, First Warn 5 weather with meteorologist Matt Holliner. 645 this morning. By the way, if you're wondering, I am wearing green today. Don't pinch me because if you look real close at this tie, there's some tiny green dots on there. <laughs> That's all I can wear, though, because if you didn't know, I'm standing in front of this green wall, and if I was wearing bright green of any sort, the graphics would be showing up on me. So I can get away with these tiny little green dots. So that's my green for St. Patrick's Day, and a happy St. Patrick's Day to you. There's that stalled front that I talked about yesterday being over San Antonio. Now it's north of Austin. It moved as a warm front yesterday, but now it's stalled out again. I think it'll start moving again later today, but farther away from us. So that's why our rain chance is smaller today than yesterday. It's not zero. I've got to leave a 10% chance in there, but I do think most of us are going to stay dry. And the only chance rain is this morning. It's going to be mostly cloudy this morning, and you might, you might catch a stray shower, but there's a better chance that you're not. <laughs> then it's going to be partly cloudy this afternoon. Not much wind early this morning, but it's going to get breezy this afternoon. Gusts around 25 miles per hour, even warmer than yesterday. More sun in the afternoon, so that means we're going to hit 87 degrees. And yes, that is above normal. We should be in the low 80s. But boy, this is a lot warmer than last St. Patrick's Day. And for all you spring breakers, enjoy this. Because last St. Patrick's Day, the high temperature was around 60 degrees in the valley. What a difference a year makes. And the night is going to be a humid night. It could be partly cloudy early, but much of the night, those low-level clouds are going to come back. So it'll be mostly cloudy. And I tell you what, it's still going to be breezy much of the night as well, especially during the evening hours. If you're going out, I know plans have changed a little bit. You might have to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day at home tonight, but perhaps you're going out in a smaller group. It will be breezy. It's going to be a bad hair night. Humid, breezy. There is a 10% chance of showers. I think the chance for seeing a shower is going to be after midnight, though. If you're going to be out during the evening hours, I think it's going to be dry, and it's going to be only cooling down to around 72 degrees. Now I want to spend the rest of the time talking about the weekend, because this is the interesting part of the forecast. So we're starting the model at 7 a.m. on Friday, and it's probably going to be dry. But Friday afternoon, we're going to stop it now about 4 o'clock. Things start to get a little Little bit more interesting, but notice still not a lot of green over us. This is the front that's pushing in, but it doesn't arrive right now until Friday night. So I think actually late Friday night is going to be our best chance of rain. Notice this is 1 a.m. Saturday. Now I think it's going to be a combination of showers and storms. I'm not worried about severe storms, but I do think there could certainly be thunderstorms around Friday evening and Friday night. Now, by the time we get to Saturday morning, just showers. It's going to be a lot cooler. We're going to spend Saturday in the 60s, believe it or not. And I do want to give you hope for some better rain. It could be kind of a damp day on Saturday. I don't think it's gonna be a washout. The model tends to overdo rain a little bit, especially these long range models. But I do think there's a possibility of rain throughout the day on Saturday. And again, highs are only gonna be in the upper 60s, a big time change. And it's gonna be breezy on Saturday to make it feel a little bit cooler. Saturday night, still a chance for rain, but not as much. And I do think there's still a rain chance on Sunday, but I do think Sunday is going to be drier than Saturday. If you're making plans, make them for Sunday. Sunday is going to be in the mid 70s, and I think the rain chance will end Sunday afternoon. So the best chance of rain Sunday, probably Sunday morning. Again, I know that's pretty far out, but I want to give you the early heads up about our best chance of rain starting Friday night through the day on Saturday, continuing on Sunday, but the best chance rain Friday night and Saturday. We get two days that are going to be cooler, right back to the 80s on Monday on your first one five AccuWeather forecast. More news in just a bit.